Hi Kim. Hi David. I'm here with Kim um, today. Kim is a recent customer of ours and she's very kindly offered to leave us a review for the website so that perhaps other people who might like to sell a house can understand uh, from a customer's experience uh, the, the process and how it happened. So Kim, oh I should say Sherlock the dog is here with us as well. <laughs> Before we start, could I just ask you to confirm that you are indeed a real customer and not a paid actress? I am, I am a real customer, yeah, I'm not an actress at all. Okay, so you're not on the payroll. No. I'm, I'm not forcing you to leave this interview, this is something that you've, you've chosen to do. It is, your own yeah, free that's right, yeah. Marvellous. And tell me about the, the property that you wanted to sell, roughly the area and perhaps the situation that you found yourself in. Um, right, it was a three-bedroomed um, terrace house. It was in South Wales. Mm -hmm. um, I'd split up with my husband, um, I'd met a new partner and was moving away. Mm -hmm. um, but also we'd got into arrears with the house, the mortgage and everything. Um, and <clears throat> we realised that I just couldn't keep it up. So I had to move my two children who were seven, well, 17 and 23. I had to find them somewhere to live. Um, and the best thing about it all was to just sell the house and rather than take it off me, Mm -hmm. I'd rather sell it and have something left over yeah. to help the kids with. Yeah, so um, how, how did you find uh, myself and my company? Um, right, the first thing we did, um, we went on, we found a company, my partner did, so I phoned them up, but then I also went on and had a look for myself and I saw you, Yeah. and I thought, well, I'll give you a ring, so, which I did, I phoned you up, I think it was quite late at night, mm -hmm. I phoned you up and I had a, a long conversation with you and you said, if things didn't go to plan with this other buyer, to give you a ring. Mm -hmm. Well, after a while, we did get a a, a, a quote from them, and it was ridiculous. Well, we did. We, I wasn't happy with it at all, and I mm -hmm. didn't like the way I was treated. It, it just wasn't. Didn't feel right. So then I phoned you up, and I've stuck with you ever since because you've been um, straightforward with me. You've um, there's been no hidden agenda. No, there's, uh, <clears throat> I've just felt quite happy with everything that you've done. Okay. Um, and then when you actually went to my house to have a look at it, my friend was there and I, I value her opinion and her judgment and um, she said you were absolutely fantastic with her, she said you, you were kind, caring and that was it. And that's what made me think, right, yeah, that's it. Well, that's really kind of you to say so, thank so, you, I do appreciate yeah. that. And then we, I made you an offer for the property, yeah. um, how, how did you feel about that offer? Um, I, th I know at first I thought I wasn't very, I wasn't 100% happy about it but then I realized when I looked at the house again and thought well, what needed to be done to it I understood you know and then I thought yeah that, you were right you know what needed to be done and it's true because it's stuff that we would have done if I'd had the money so I just thought yeah let's just get it over and done with sold and that'd be it and mm -hmm. I'm you know stress-free sort of thing yeah and, and talking about stress-free obviously we then agreed the sale yeah um, what happened next in terms of time scale? How much input did you have to put? Uh, was the sale process better or worse than previous <laughs> sale processes that you've used in the past? What sort of time scales did you experience? Well, literally from the beginning to speaking to you until the very end of it, it took about three weeks yeah. and it was, <clears throat> I've hardly had anything to do really. You've come down, you came down, you drove down from Wales to Western to see me. Yeah. Um, we filled out all the paperwork and everything. Uh, and I just feel that it's been a, it's been really stress free. Re literally has. I've had I haven't had to worry about any of it really. Mm -hmm. You know, and I was. It's just good that I didn't have anything to worry about. Yeah, sure. I had enough to worry about with the kids and everything, and then yeah. for this to go through, I just there was nothing else to worry about. Yeah, yeah. Now, as, as part of the transaction, um, you know, obviously your children needed to move into different property. Yeah. Did we help with that in any way? Yes, you did. Yeah. Um, even before we were actually, we actually signed everything across, you um, gave me a deposit of a thousand pound. Once we signed other bits, you gave me a deposit of a thousand pound, which meant I could put down the deposit and everything for my kids to move into their new home. Yeah. And then I think it was about a few days later, it was um, every, the contracts were signed, sealed, and everything, and the rest of the money went straight in the bank that day. Great. So okay. it, you know, it gave me peace of mind for everything. And, and the money that we agreed on the sale price, is that what you received? Were yeah. there any deductions, any other fees or anything no, like that? No, no fees whatsoever. The only thing that was taken off it was um, a loan that was up against the, the mortgage, against the house. 
and that was it and, it was, sure. and that was it so I knew what I was getting and what I expected to get was what I got right so I didn't so, try to knock away at the price after we had agreed it or use any tactics to try at to all. No, talk you down all. on price no. okay no. and in, in terms of the experience of using obviously myself and house buyers Wales my company is there anything that you were happy with anything we could have improved or done different for you next time um, I was really happy what what what's really made this as easy as possible for me and it was you've been so friendly you've been approachable um, I've my even my children you've spoken to my children as well so and it's just been a pleasure to sell a house you know all right it wasn't very good circumstances but it's been a pleasure to sell the house to you the way it's, it's all gone through I do appreciate so I that really Kim, do. thank you and, and just to check in with you all now how are you how are your kids and obviously your ex-partner how's everyone um, doing um, the kids are happy and settled now in their new home they've moved on uh, as well I'm happy and now I, I can actually feel I can move on with my life now but knowing the kids are safe you know which is what yeah. you've helped helped me you know you put my kids in a safe place so I'm, I'm really grateful for that really thankful well I'm, I'm really grateful for you giving me the opportunity to, to help you and work with you yeah. any advice that you might have for somebody perhaps watching this video that's on the website wondering whether to pick up the phone, phone and give you. me a call just to phone you okay to actually phone you just you know, you haven't got to agree anything. You can just phone him up and phone you up and talk to you, and just get some advice. And then, you know, you're on my phone. You know, my contact list. So oh, that's good. <laughs> so I could I just all I did, if ever I needed to phone you, I just phoned you straight away. You were always on the end of a phone. There was no answering message. It was just you straight there, mm -hmm. and that was really good. Kim, that's really good of you to say. So sure, look. Assuming you've got nothing else to add here. Thank you so much for making contact My and thank pleasure. you for giving thank me the opportunity much. to help you. Thank you very much. All the best. Thank you. You too.